Hi, this is Robin Bremer. .net is my website. And make sure you go there and get some teaching that I have, awesome teaching that will bring you into God's, walking God's supernatural presence and power. Uh, today I'm going over tongues again, and um, I'm not wanting to uh, hit it too much, but I just don't want you to miss out. Tongues is such a powerful tool. It's for you. It's for today. It's for every Christian, every born again, spirit filled Christian because when you're filled with the spirit the tongues is part of that uh, and today I want to go over um, why it's so important to pray in tongues before you pray for somebody uh, and that's 1st Corinthians 14 15 if you want to go there first of all let me explain again 1st um, Corinthians 14 Paul is talking about in the church he's saying um, you know one person speaking tongues and another person they don't all pray uh, and so on he's talking about in church but it still gives us a clue to what talking in tongues does no matter where you do it and it's for church and it's for everybody and right here he's saying um, I thank God that I can speak with tongues more than y'all yet in church and then he talks about it some more um, but if you go back to 14 uh, verse let's see verse 15 it says, uh, For if I pray in the in a tongue, my spirit prays, and my understanding is unfruitful. Okay, because you don't you don't know what you're praying. I will pray with the spirit, and I will pray with understanding. So, praying in the spirit, you don't have understanding unless you ask God to interpret to interpret it, and He will. Um, and if you pray in the spirit and pray in understanding you sing in the spirit and sing in understanding okay that is available for everybody for everybody and for today and it's so important that you pray in tongues before you pray over somebody because you don't know what to pray you can if you if they tell you oh I got stomach cancer so you pray for stomach cancer but stomach cancer does other things to other parts of the body and you just don't want the spirit of cancer to go you want all the things that cancer killed revived made alive or created a miracle brand new restored part body part and there might be lots of other things connected to cancer or the cause of cancer that you need to um, get rid of so when you pray in tongues you'll have a deeper understanding on what you're dealing with and how to take authority over those things and how to speak over somebody so it's very important to pray in tongues and also if you uh, and there is my dog helping in the conversation um, also if you go to the scriptures that talks about the Holy Spirit how he gives us and I don't know it off the top of my head I probably should how Holy Spirit prays for us when we don't know what to pray with groans and uttering um, and I will put it on my blog what scripture that is well the Holy Spirit prays for us and in intercession when we don't know how to pray well that's what you do you pray in the Holy Spirit you pray in tongues before you pray in English because then you know what to say in English then others can agree with you or uh, um, other things come along with that other ideas of what else to pray for uh, you know how to do how to take what steps to take so it's very important for you to pray in tongues and for you to know it's for you and it's for today so that's it for today my name is Robin Bremer dot net is my website please go check it out subscribe it if you see this on Facebook um, Facebook friend me uh, go to my blog Robin Bremer dot net um, leave comments share it uh, subscribe if you see this on YouTube uh, and let people know about my website I sure appreciate it and leave comments because I love to interact with you and you have a blessed day and I'll talk to you tomorrow.